Hi, my name is Nick. I work with the Dixon Company and today we're going to talk a little bit about data logging and if you're new to uh, the data logging world, a data logger is basically an electronic instrument that captures information um, depending on a variable. In our case, Dixon, we focus on three main variables, temperature, humidity, and pressure. And all of our products, uh, they record uh, temperature, humidity, and pressure in, in one of a couple of different ways. We have basic data loggers. This right here is a temperature and humidity data logger. Um, it downloads the information directly to your computer with a mini USB cable. So if you're um, recording temperature and humidity in a warehouse and um, you wanted to then download that information and create a report, you could do that through mini, this mini USB cable connection. We have a lot of different ways to download your information, not only with a mini USB connector, but we also do uh, SD cards, so like you would have on your digital camera. Uh, an SD card, like on this product right here, fits right in here. You just slide it right in. You hit the menu download button. All that information from the data logger itself transfers to the SD card. You take it back to your computer, and then you can see that, uh, that information. When you get back to your computer, we have a software suite which lets you see the information two different ways. Uh, one way is through a graph like you would have on Excel, and then the second way is um, by individual point. We call those points sample points. What a sample point is how often the data logger actually records that temperature, humidity, or pressure variable. Um, some of the common sample points are once every five minutes or once every 10 minutes. And when you get it back onto the so uh, software, you'll see those recorded times and temperature, humidity, or pressure variables. Another way that we have to download your information is through an Ethernet connection. So these units right here, they actually connect to your pre-existing Ethernet network. You just plug it right in. The information on a, on a unit like this would automatically transmit back to your software suite so you wouldn't actually have to download anything. Uh, it, would, it would do it automatically for you. Um, another way that we do it, um, besides the SD cards, the mini USBs, and the Ethernet, is through a Wi-Fi connection. So if you have a Wi-Fi connection in your, in your uh, facility, you can connect this unit directly onto that Wi-Fi network, and it will transmit the data back to, uh, back to the internet where you can then view um, all your information. We do collect the data a couple of different ways. On a unit like this, we have an internal sensor, so the sensor is actually connected to the circuit board. Um, that's what's actually sensing the temperature and humidity. Um, another way to do it is through a what we call a K thermocouple probe. That's the uh, type of probe that this is. The bead on the end is actually what's doing the sensing. So if you're monitoring, another common application for this is monitoring a refrigerator. You could run this probe into your refrigerator. The unit itself or the instrument stays on the outside. So with the display, you can see what the temperature of the refrigerator is. And the only thing that's really inside is, is the probe itself. These units come with what we call a pre-calibrated sensor. This pre-calibrated sensor um, holds all of the calibration of the unit on the inside and it does the sensing on the outside itself. When we refer to calibration, calibration is just the accuracy of the unit and how accurate it is to a standard. Most of our units have an accuracy of plus or minus from 0.8 up to 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. If you have any questions on any of our units, you can go to our website, which is www.dixondata.com, or you can give us a call. We have a team of customer service folks who are very knowledgeable about the different applications that you may be using data loggers for, and are more than happy to help you out on how to use the product and pick and choose the right one for your application. Thanks again for watching today. If you have any questions, like I said, give us a call.